everyone. My name is Andrei Kokarev, and I'm going to talk about our new portable pipeline for exome and genome sequencing. Um, to, to start with, we had a fully functional pipeline which was written uh, in Python, so it was a bunch of Python scripts uh, running on SunGrid engine. It was open sourced, but it was very hard even for us to modify and to uh, share with you so you couldn't use it without, without our further assistance. And uh, so it was not uh, fully open. Thus, we decided to develop a new uh, pipeline uh, using modern technologies. We upgraded uh, JTK we used. We decided to use uh, Cromwell as a workflow management service and uh, written the pipeline in Viddle, which is very, very nice. And of course, it's fully open source. Um, our pipeline consists of three main parts. So the first is upstream, is uh, uh, JTK best practices pipeline uh, with a common variant calling. Uh, after that, that data comes to the second component, which uh, identifies very rare cases. Uh, we use a custom set of variant colors, for example, our Denuvo color. And then we annotate this data with some uh, further information and output the VCF file. Uh, so, as it runs on Cromwell, you can run it everywhere, uh, anywhere where Cromwell is deployed, in your cluster, in some clouds, and they recently added the AWS support. It is still in beta, so we tried it out, and there are some issues we encountered. The first one was an issue with call caching, so uh, all the jobs that perform some computation, they take input, uh, compute something, take output, and we heavily reuse these results. And without call caching, it was, our pipeline was not very usable on AWS. Hopefully, um, luckily they fixed it in April, so it's all right now. Uh, the second major issue we had, and it's not still resolved, uh, AWS, as it turns out, it restricts a uh, number of requests that you make uh, for each service of AWS, for example, REST 3. And uh, our pipeline starts, massively starts new jobs. They start to download data. And at that moment, uh, AWS started, started throttling our requests. So uh, two months, three months ago, uh, Cromwell just crashed. Uh, right now, it is able to retry requests, and uh, this is not a great solution. This is just a workaround, but according to the devs, uh, the best solution just to apply jobs in a batch, uh, supporting AWS batch requests, would require some redesign of the Cromwell itself. Uh, so, yeah, if you uh, design your workflow, try to avoid that mistake, I guess. Thank you.